Hey Cancers, welcome to September 2017. I hope you guys had, uh, actually I should say, I hope you guys survived August 2017. Uh, and what I mean by that is I feel like such a jerk because I definitely should have mentioned in the August 27 videos about that eclipse season. Like that was insane. Okay, I think what I did, Cancer, um, I think I might have subconsciously blocked it off because once I looked at my chart with the eclipse, everything made sense and I didn't want to acknowledge that. Unfortunately, that eclipse season um, I spent in ICU for six days with my brother who passed away at the age of 30 on August 9th. Um, and yeah, I think that I... <sighs> I think that I just didn't want to acknowledge that, so I didn't acknowledge it in the videos because then I wouldn't have to acknowledge it within my own chart, within my family's chart, and all the numerology was pointing um, to major, major changes in my family's lives. I still never could have ever predicted or even want to predict uh, what happened to us because it was incredibly traumatic. So. That being said, I definitely want to rectify that by letting you guys know how that eclipse season affected you guys. Hurry, stop. Sorry, how that eclipse season affected you guys. Um, so please uh, post your birth day, time, and exact birth location. Exact birth time, exact birth location. And I'll let you guys know how that eclipse affected you. I'm also going to let you know where Mars and Mercury are in your chart and where Mercury goes retrograde or goes direct from retrograde on the 6th. And right now, Mars and Mercury are so close together in the sky that you really got to be cautious because it's really, it's, it's at a peak right now. So once Mercury goes direct, um, those are the areas of your life where you're going to have a lot of clarity. You're going to have a lot of focus. You're going to be able to put energy and, and, um, direction into that area of your life so please post your birth details and I'll let you know exactly where that's going of course free of charge um Saturn went direct on August 27th and Saturn is father time pretty much he's the one that just makes everything rough like he's Saturn's the one that says oh oh that's what you want mm, you have to work for it so Saturn going direct on August 27th I will let you know where that is hitting your chart and that's where you're gonna be able to get really serious that's where you're gonna be able to use um the focus of Saturn's energy to just recognize that it's going to be an obstacle area, but it's also going to be really, really empowering and really stable once you overcome it, okay? So the full moon is on September 6th. It's in Pisces. So intuition is on point right now, Cancers, because this is another water sign. So listen to your intuition this month because it's on point. Um, and then the full moon on the 6th is going to ask us to release... Um, anything that's no longer serving us, all the emotional baggage that uh, we didn't let go of with the eclipse uh, in August. And then the new moon on the 20th is in Virgo, and this is going to be an excellent, excellent time to write down up to 10 things that we want to see manifested into our lives. We write down up to 10 things on the 20th. We burn that piece of paper, and we thank Grandmother Moon for help uh, co-creating our world and universe, okay? So have fun, guys, because getting a goal, getting a plan, and getting um, started really is quite the empowering journey. I know so many people that uh, they're just allowing life to happen to them, which is fine if you're okay with that, if you're okay not feeling in control of your life. But if you really want to try and, and manifest some positivity and some actual changes that you want instead of changes that have been imposed on you, the new moon is an excellent time to do it. You guys are, are cancers. You guys are ruled by the moon. So you guys have a huge, huge advantage when it comes to the moon cycles. You guys are, are more tapped into the moon than any other sign, it seems. Cancers are rule. They rule the moon. So that being said, full moon is when you want to release. New moon is when you want to bring in. Full moon is on September 6th. Anything you don't want anymore in your life, let it go. You can also write that down and just burn it and be like, bye-bye, thank you, but never come back. Um, and then on the new moon on the 20th, that's when you want to start bringing things in. And like I said, Cancer, you guys are so tapped into the moon where you really want to be using the moon cycles to your advantage because we need you. We need you to, to have the moon figured out and your life figured out so that we can kind of work with your intuition and work with your good graces, okay? Um... That being said, when it comes to numerology, 
September is a turning point month. Universally, this is the peak of new beginnings, a new direction, a new cycle um, when it comes to the universe and when it comes to the world in general. So we're really going to see the world take a new direction and we can harness that energy by focusing on our personal year and how it directly affects us. So please either uh, Google numerology personal year or um, um, share <laughs> your birthday in the comments and I will let you know your personal year and what to expect during this peak. Okay. Um, you can also email me if you're more private. I'm at uh, beyondyoursunsign at gmail.com. What else can I tell you guys? I think that's it. I think we're ready. Now we're ready. Okay, let's go. This is for Cancer, September 2017. Cancer, September 2017. Hold on, I just need to get a little more grounded. Cancer, September Okay, <laughs> a card just popped out and it fell on the floor and I, thank you, I am like so crazy about symbols and things like that. So the fact that this card fell on the ground, however it did fall face up, to me that means that this is a tool and it's exactly what I was talking about, this is something that you've pushed aside. Okay, you've gone so far where it's not even just that it popped out face down, it popped out, fell on the ground face up. So it is there for the taking. And like I mentioned, it is the moon card using the moon cycles. You see the crab down there. Cancers rule the moon. And although you might feel incredibly unbalanced, if you feel like you have no idea what to do, where to go, which direction to take, look to the moon. The moon is your best friend and ally because Cancer, the theme of this reading is that you guys are really confused as to what the next steps are. You're emotionally stable. You want to create something, but you just feel really pinned down and that's causing a lot of uh, animosity and conflict within your psyche and with other people because you want, you're forcing you're either avoiding this change, trying to dodge it, and, and people are fighting with you to, to, to take this change, to take your freedom back, and you're just feeling completely pinned down by this new beginning based on something that you've created, something that you've nurtured, um, and now you're realizing that like you're going to have to move on and take some rest at home before something new can come in, okay? Because that change is forcing you to sacrifice something and let go and focus on what you've built so far, getting your power back. So for, um, yeah, my mother-in-law, she is a moon in cancer. So this absolutely resonates feeling completely lost, feeling really emotional about that lost, uh, that loss, because it's something that you've created and nurtured for probably years, years. And now this new beginning that came in is just pinning you down, making you bleed out, you're conflicted, fighting with others over this change, fighting with others over this lack of freedom or this or this too much freedom now, and knowing that you really have to move on with your power while you still can and to just leave your emotions in the past, that will be forcing you to take some rest at home with family and just kind of um, put your feet up and just stop fighting for a little bit. Like you just want to to cut back a little bit, which will bring a whole new thought form, which will just empower you, which will give you integrity on a very, very uh, conscious level. Um, you're being forced to to really create this new this new new thinking when it comes to do with this change and with this um, energy of of feeling lost. But it is time to let go of something and focus on and to move on with your power and to focus on your on other ways that you can. Uh, empower yourselves okay cancer so let's go okay okay so there's quite a few people here okay but you guys are holding on you guys are definitely holding on tight 
Um, all right, there's a lot of people here, Cancer. There's a lot of people. Um, we're starting with the Queen of Pentacles. That's your situation. So either this is you who's really focusing on your empowerment right now, or this is someone in your life that you really got to talk to. So it's obviously um, a female person or a female, um, someone who is either a Capricorn, a Taurus or a Virgo or somebody who embodies those characteristics. So somebody who um, is very steadfast when it comes to, oh, sorry, I did Capricorn. Yeah, Capricorn, Taurus, or, or Virgo, the Earth signs. So either someone who's really steadfast when it comes to their empowerment, when it comes to their finances, someone who talks about their finances a lot, and someone who has a big ego, okay? This person is, they rule the nest, so to speak. <laughs> um, that's your situation right now. And based on that situation, you know you got to move on. You know you got to make that change. Free yourself and move on, Okay? focus. Okay, this isn't focusing. <laughs> anyway, so the, okay, there's a bridge right there. It's all about building that bridge and moving on. Um, even though it doesn't feel right, because you want to just kind of be in this emotional space. There are other good things. There are other good things to latch onto and to use those, the good emotions, the good feelings to build a bridge and get over it, especially when it comes to this uh, Queen of Pentacles person. Um, first person you thought of when I said uh, a woman who rules rules the rose to the, the matriarch of your life, okay? It's time to free yourself to make a change when it comes to this person because it's just not working. However, the reason why um, you're having difficulty is because of there's... There's a lot of people here, okay? So we have this person who's in your subconscious, and it's a younger person than you, but somebody who also is really focused on their finances. So focused on their finances that they're not even able to get deep with their emotions. Like they don't even want to cross. They don't even want to cross that that bridge. They don't even want to. They don't want to talk to you about their emotions. They want to just focus on the material aspect of the world, the physical world, and anything else. They're just blind to it, okay? So that's who's. That's who's controlling your subconscious. That's who's motivating this relationship with the Queen of Pentacles. However, who you're thinking about, like who, who you think maybe is the reason why you're having struggles with this Queen of Pentacles, although subconsciously it's a younger um, uh, financial um, owner type person, it actually, what you're thinking about is this older water sign, male energy. So you may, so what I mean is, this Queen of Pentacles is is bothering you. This Queen of Pentacles, Pentacles is bothering you a lot. It seems like maybe they're the reason why um, you're, you're fighting for this change and, and for freedom and for making this change. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles is, is a situation moving on, letting go of your emotions con um, that are attached to this Queen of Pentacles are the obstacle in the eight. So it's going to be hard, but it's going to help you with this person subconsciously the reason what is motivating all of this confusion and frustration and this feeling like you have to move on and make a change and be free from this queen of pentacles person is the knight of pentacles is a younger financial person either it's you financially like younger um like when i say financial i also mean like material things so people who are either like a hoarder or who are really into the the physical, tangible aspects of life, which is so um, inconducive with the cancer because you guys are so emotional. So somebody who you're like, wow, can you even get emotional? Like, do you have any emotional depth? That's really who's motivating this Queen of Pentacles person. And who you think it is, is this water sign, this older water sign, okay? So that's who you think it is. And when I say water sign, it could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or somebody who embodies that. Somebody who is very emotional, very smart, um, maybe talks in code, like maybe talks, uh, you guys are able to kind of talk on like an emotional level because you guys both have that emotional connection, whereas the Queen of Pentacles is and the Knight of Pentacles uh, in your subconscious are more of the tangible side, so it could feel like you're, you're pit between. That person is what you're thinking about. That person is why you think you need to move on from this Queen of Pentacles person. Because in the past, everything was fine. You were a happy family. You were, 
you know, you were building each other up, you were there for each other, you saw a future together, um, everything was clear, everything was happy, you were able to talk together, you are able to build together, you are able to nurture each other, you are able to play together, you had your financial situations intact, um, and that is really what that new uh, financial empowerment when it came to, or even just empowerment in general when it came to the family, is what's fueling this Queen of Pentacles to continue kind of focusing on that power struggle, but you're you're really trying to just get to the emotional side now. So right now you're using a lot of strength. You're burning a lot of energy on your strength and just trying to keep going and trying to keep your power intact and try to keep building yourself up. You've been really taming your your beast, your inner beast a lot. You've been really holding back and it, it's been it's been a fight. It's been a constant struggle for you to just bite your tongue even though you want to just let out your emotional outbursts you want to just empower yourself by saying listen queen of pentacles this isn't working for me you're forcing this change on me i don't want to change you're really um you're really you're really pinning me down um you're really putting a lot of force and a lot of energy into taming your inner beast my opinion my advice maybe the queen of pentacles needs to just hear some cold hard facts because if this queen of pentacles is so focused on their power they need an emotional person to say listen there's more to life than just being in control and being the number one and being the one that you know can call all the shots and let their ego run rampant and um yeah allow them bring their shadow side out allow them to see that maybe they're not all that okay Family and friends definitely see that uh, you're going through that change and they want you to make that change. They know that, okay, once once they move on, once they let go and make that change, they'll be happier. So your family and friends are waiting for that, okay? Hope and fear, another person, another really young water sign. So whether that's you or whether that's uh, a family member, but this is what you hope for and this is what you fear for. So what does that mean, Cancer? If this is you, maybe you hope to be, like, emotionally expressive, but you're you're fearful of it. You're kind of, like, embarrassed by it because you fear it as well. Hmm. I'm going to leave that one with you guys, okay? That's a hope and a fear, okay? So it's either a person or it's a feeling. Why won't this focus? Okay, sorry. <laughs> The last card is another person, <laughs> another person, um, someone who talks a lot, younger than you, of course, someone who's like really happy-go-lucky, but somebody who when they get angry, their words are are brutal, they, they see red, they really have a quick temper, or maybe this is you, maybe this is you finally saying what needs to be said to the Queen of Pentacles in order to start this change. Okay, and if the Queen of Pentacles is you, is just you wanting to be in a, a financially dominant situation, then you need to get real with yourself and maybe look in the mirror and say, listen, like, you've been emotional for too long. It's time to get back to your financial um, stability. Make the change. Go back into your past. When you are, if you are going to talk to this Queen of Pentacles, you want to do it with the with the King of Cups. You want to do it with that emotional person, um, with that uh, water male sign. You definitely want to be doing it with them because they're going to help you out. Um, and it's going to lead to another person. Look, you just have all these people here. This is another young fire sign. So somebody who's either Aries, Sag, or Leo. Um, but yeah. You got so many people here, Cancer. What's going on? When do you focus on you? Right? Like, it seems like you guys have been really just focused on appeasing all these other people to the point where this Queen of Pentacles has just made you feel completely powerless and helpless. It's time to make the change. Make a sacrifice. That's the thing. A Cancer is so nurturing that it'd be for me to sit here and say, oh, just forget about all these people. Screw them. There's there's no way. So if that's the case and, and that resonates for you, it's time to just talk with them. I know for a Cancer, it's easier to just emote, but you can either write a letter to them, use Mercury going direct um, on September 6th before you do this, though. Um, write a letter, write an email, make a phone call, kind of put some distance between you so that it won't be just an emotional attack. It could actually be like a thought out, orchestrated, 
this isn't working for me. I need to move on while I still have some happiness. <laughs> and you're doing it for um, a lot of people, but it is time. I really hope that this helps you guys, Cancers. Like I said, please use the moon cycles to your advantage. Please do post your, your birth details and I can just give you some more information that complements this information. Love you guys so much and I hope you have a, a much better September than August, I'm sure. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in October. Love you, Cancers. Bye.